Hi guys, so you're wondering where you're supposed to live when you move here to Pagosa Springs, Colorado. With a whole bunch of different options from outside of town to inside of town, to small lots to big lots, to ranch style to contemporary style homes, there's a lot of choices on where you're going to live and where you can live here in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. Before I go into the video, I want to remind everyone that I am a real estate agent here in town and I invite you to give me a call or shoot me an email anytime if you have any questions or if you're searching for a home here in Pagosa Springs or if you're looking to sell your home here in Pagosa Springs as well. My phone number is 970-398-1310 or you can reach me by email at tallylorne at gmail.com. I also want to let everyone know that if you want more information on the neighborhoods and the subdivisions of Pagosa Springs, please go to my website, coloradomountaintown.com. There you're going to find market data as well as maps and other relevant information, including HOA, CCRs, and local town information to help you make the decision when you, he when you move here to Pagosa Springs, Colorado. Well, let's get right into it. First, I want to start off on the outskirts of Pagosa Springs, and we'll start off to the west in one of the bigger areas, which is called Aspen Springs. Aspen Springs is made up of six particular smaller areas and is outside of town west of Pagosa Springs on 160, and portions of Aspen Springs lie on the north side of 160 as well on the south side, with the majority of the homes and the lots and residences being on the south side of 160. You can access Aspen Springs through a number of entrances off of 160, but if you're going to be living or have property down in Aspen Springs 6, you're probably going to want to take County Road 700 all the way down south and then turn left onto Westview Road to access all the lots and subdivisions in that area. One of the notable things about Aspen Springs is that there are no HOAs or covenants and restrictions. You do have to abide by the county, local, city, state, and federal code and ordinance, of course. But other than that, you are set up to do pretty much whatever you'd like within the bounds of the law. Livestock, crops, agriculture, those type of types of things are going to be able for you to do out there in Aspen Springs. The roads out in Aspen Springs are maintained. However, with the longer driveways and the bigger lots, you are going to need to be prepared to maintain your own driveway from the street up into your lot during the winter times. The snow here and daily snowfall can range anywhere from a couple inches to a full foot. So you need to be prepared so you can access your home if anything like that does happen. Let's go ahead and move over to the other side of Pagosa Springs on the east and going up north towards Wolf Creek Pass. There's some great beautiful homes and neighborhoods out there. Names like San Juan River Village and San Juan River Ranch, just to name a couple. These are going to be a little bit bigger lots and as you get closer and closer to Wolf Creek Pass, the price on these homes and the price per square foot on these homes will get a little bit bigger, given the fact that most likely you're on a bigger lot and you're getting closer to one of the most beautiful areas in the entire world, which is the Wolf Creek Pass area. If you go south of Pagosa Springs on 84, there's also a number of options. Holiday Acres, and then if you go all the way down to Cromo, Navajo River Ranch, just to name a couple again. Once again, these are bigger lots, and you'll find that the home prices do go up when you get out to these more areas that uh, aren't near the city. You also want to make sure, just like Aspen Springs, that if you live out in these areas that are north, east, or south of Pagosa Springs, then you, you want to make sure you always have access to your home and you have an available equipment, tractor uh, with a plow on it, a vehicle with a plow on it, those type of things. Those services are available privately through people here in Pagosa Springs, but you need to make sure that you get them on your schedule so that they're available when you need to access your home, especially if you're visiting here in the higher types of seasons in the winter time or ski season, things like that. Let's move more centrally located into Pagosa Springs. And let's talk about one of the biggest master subdivisions in the entire state of Colorado, which is the Pagosa Lakes Property Owners Association, or PLPOA for short. This area is made up of a number of smaller subdivisions, including five lakes, four of which are stocked with bass, trout, and other fish, a community center, and a golf course that all lies within this area as well. You have a huge variety of different homes and different lot sizes, and of course that will make the prices ranging from all the way from $250,000 to over a million dollars on some of these homes. 
There's also condos and townhomes that are more near the town area in the PLPOA area. And you need to watch out because the HOA fees for PLPOA are only $255 a year. But if you have a condo or a townhome, most likely you're going to be paying an excessively more amount of fees per month, not per year, to live in that area and to have that area maintained for you. One area that I like to talk about and is personally one of my favorites is the Pagosa Alpha area. The Pagosa Alpha area only has about 50 lots that were planned in and there are still plenty available to purchase right now. Most of them are in the 5 to 10 acre range and this area lies just behind Walmart right smack dab in the center of town. But the neat thing is is that as soon as you get into the Pagosa Alpha neighborhood there's nothing but beautiful mountain views and nothing of the city or anything like that. Some of the best views in Pagosa Springs come from the Pagosa Alpha subdivision and the fact that you can get from Pagosa Alpha to anywhere in town within 10 minutes makes it awfully convenient and also provides that life and the views that you've been looking for when moving to Pagosa Springs. So without a doubt, Pagosa Alpha is one of my favorite areas. Thank you very much for spending this time with me. I appreciate it. Once again, I want to remind you that you can find market data, local links, and individual subdivision HOA restrictions and information on my website at coloradomountaintown.com. If you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe so every time that I make a video about Pagosa Springs, you're alerted and you know that you have another way to find out more about the place that you probably want to move to soon enough, especially if you've clicked on this video. Once again, my phone number is 970-398-1310, or you can reach me by email at tallylauren at gmail.com. I appreciate the time you've spent with me today, folks. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.